Welcome to the World Arts Games UK Showcase 2017. There are over 22 members showing in this exhibition, uh, which I hope you'll enjoy through the rest of this film. During this show, you will see the participants of the exhibition uh, coming together through a labyrinth, uh, which signifies the coming together and unity of those artists uh, representing the UK. Um, I'd like to welcome fellow artists and all our friends who've come to support us this evening. And it's, it's just wonderful to see everybody here. Um, well, most, well, many people have asked me, you know, what is WAG about? And WAG stands for World Art Games. And it's based on the Olympian ideal of countries working towards peace. Um, and that's what actually the World Art Games is all about. It was established by Peter Weiss, a Croatian artist, in 2009. And since then it's gone from strength to strength. Um, I think there are now 52 different nations who belong to WAG International. And we are just one of those nations. Um, we are together uh, here because we are bound by various values which we endorse. Uh, one is friendship between nations who respect human rights. Uh, also, our second value is respect for people regardless of race, regardless of religion, and regardless of class, and regardless of sexual orientation. We value education, love, and peace. We are keen to transcend international boundaries. And this is actually a value that's actually endorsed by Arts Council England. They say, we want to develop excellent international facing artists in the UK. And we are here tonight. We are these international facing artists. Um, and now to, about tonight's program. Um, first of all, we're going to hear from Ian Beach. And Ian, Ian exemplifies another uh, aspect of, of World Art Games. World Art Games is not just about visual art. It's about literary and performance arts. And not only is Ian a fantastic photographer, but he's also a fantastic poet as well. So he transcends to the genre, uh, he exemplifies that, and he's also very good at performing what he writes. Um, and the, uh, after that, we're going to uh, see a YouTube video from Francesco Allegro, who is at the moment our only WAG musician in WAG UK. And uh, but at the moment, he's in Los Angeles, and can't be here tonight, but he sends his love to everybody who's here, who come to symbolise. But um, thank you very much, everyone, for coming, being here. Thank you for, to Richard Holt and Philip Barnes, who, who created such a magnificent exhibition. Uh, thank you to all the wonderful artists, talented artists, who contributed their work to it. You know, and uh, thank you, everyone else, for really coming to support it. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, thank you for that kind introduction. Um, it's wonderful to be here um, exhibiting with so many amazingly talented artists. So uh, it's a great event. It, it looks marvellous. So well done, everyone. Um, I'm just going to do a few poems now. Um, they don't give a full idea of the range. Um, I have got quite a few ranting poems. Uh, and some tender ones, and some angry poems, and uh, gentle and sad. But um, I'm going to give you just one or two examples of, of what I write. And I've tried to link it in to the ideas of international cooperation and caring about the whole planet and the people who live in it. And the first one is called The Ashtray. <clears throat> A brass ashtray inherited from my grandfather, just over five inches in diameter, three small crescents incised from its rim to accommodate cigarettes, cigars and pipe stems. Perhaps not the most intriguing of heirlooms for a 21st century non-smoker. 
I study its central column. Three inches high, slim and tapering to a sharpish point, employed to hold open a matchbox when surmounted in its burnished holder. Manufactured long before tobacco products carried government warnings, declaring that they could seriously damage your health. Ci sono storie che non ho mai vissuto, parole e sguardi a cui non ho mai creduto, amori e vite lasciate lì in sospeso, come quel libro aperto e mai ripreso, è sempre più difficile incontrarsi a metà strada per noi. È sempre più difficile incontrarsi a metà strada per noi. Ci sono frasi che non ho mai finito, un messaggio mai mandato, non averlo mai cercato. Saremo a pezzi e cosa importa passerà. Ma adesso siamo estranei anche nella stessa città. Ricordo il giorno e il freddo di quando ti si è arreso. Quegli occhi così caldi e verdi di colpo tu mi hai preso. Convinti forse di non averci mai provato. Ma nessuno di noi due quel giorno ha mai rischiato. È sempre più difficile. Incontrarsi a metà strada per noi è sempre più difficile. Incontrarsi a metà strada per noi e non parlo di te, ma di tutto quello che avevo e di cosa mi è rimasto e non parlo di noi. Case che ho vissuto e che non ritrovo più, tutti sparsi, divisi. Sono anni che ci scriviamo ma non parliamo. Le nostre promesse poi un giorno si vedranno. Ma intanto cresci e forse non ci rivedremo mai. Ci rivedremo.